Today I'm going to show you my five favorite tips when you have a Google Home device as well as a Chromecast. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now before we begin, make sure that your Google Home is set up as well as your Chromecast device on the same Wi-Fi network. This will work with all the Google Homes as well as the Chromecast and the Chromecast Ultra. Let's dive in. Tip number one, turning off your TV with the Chromecast and the Google Home, you need to make sure that your TV does have HDMI CEC support. Also, make sure that your Chromecast is plugged into its own power source and not USB into the TV. And then all you need to do is say, hey Google, turn off the Chromecast Ultra. Hey Google, power on the Chromecast Ultra. And there you go, just like that, you can turn on and off the TV with the Chromecast. Let's move on to tip number two, playing your videos from the Google Home to the Chromecast. Now, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos about how to play YouTube and Netflix on the TV, make sure you click the link above, but I wanna give you a few updates. To control which video formats are linked to your account to play from the Google Home to the Chromecast, head on over to the Google Home application. Here, you're gonna click the menu at the top left hand of the screen, and then you're gonna click more settings and then go down to the very bottom and select videos and photos. Here is where you can link your different accounts. Now, starting off, Netflix has a new update where you can actually manage profiles. So if you don't have manage profiles right here, you just need to select unlink account and then you need to relink your account. So when I do that, it's going to take me into the web browser where I'm going to sign back in to my Netflix account and then I'm going to select sign in and link. And at this point, it will now give you the option to select which profile you want. So now whenever I ask Google Home to play from Netflix, it's going to select videos from my profile. So here I am going to tap on Brett and then it will give me the option to confirm that I want my account to be linked. And now whenever I play videos from my Google Home to the Chromecast, it will use my voice match and play my Netflix on the TV. Now, if Carrie would like to control her Netflix via voice, she'll need to go into her phone, make sure that she has linked the Chromecast device, go to the same settings and link Netflix, and this will be the same Netflix account that I've already signed into, and then she will select her profile, and then when she asks Google Home to play Netflix by voice, it will play videos from her profile. So here are the accounts that do require a subscription. You can also cast YouTube TV, but you do need to be paying for that. Some other things that you can do are CW, you can do YouTube and Crackle that are not available on here. Now, some of these may vary depending on the country that you are in. Now, if you have any questions about how to use voice command with your Google Home, make sure you check out one of my previous videos. Also make sure that you enable voice control on your Chromecast in the Google Home app. Tip number three is being able to control any cast that is currently happening on your Wi-Fi network. So in our house, we have multiple Google Homes and multiple Chromecast. At any time, I can take control of that cast session with my Google Home just by saying the name and saying what command I want it to do. So this also works if you are using an app that isn't supported by voice control with the Google Home. Meaning, if I wanna play Hulu videos, I can't start those from the Google Home, but if I go onto my phone or a tablet and I cast from Hulu to my Chromecast, I can then control that from my Google Home. Let me show you. So here I'm turning on Hulu from my phone and I'm going to cast to Chromecast Ultra. It's going to play up there. All right, so there I have started the cast from my phone. Now, if you only have one Chromecast, you can just ask it to pause or play the TV. But here I can say, hey Google, pause Chromecast Ultra. And there you go, without having full Hulu access from the Google Home, I now can take control of that cast. I can also change the volume, skip ahead. Hey Google, skip ahead five minutes. Hey Google, mute Chromecast Ultra. So that's how you can take control of any cast from your Google Home that you are casting to on your Chromecast. So there really are hundreds of applications that you can cast to from your phone and you can use the Google Home to quickly pause them or play them. Just make sure that you specify which Chromecast device you want to control. This also means that if you have other Google Homes casting music at any time, you can ask this Google Home to stop them. So how this works is when you start a cast on the Google Home, 
that is able to be seen across the entire network. So at any time, you can request this Google Home to pause or play or change the volume of that specific cast. So let's say your kids are playing music and you want it to turn down or it's too loud or you want it to stop. All you need to do is say, hey Google, stop kitchen speaker. And there you go, it stops it. Then if you want to start your own cast, hey Google, play my YouTube playlist on kitchen speaker. And there it will send the cast. Being able to control all of the casts in your home from one Google Home is very convenient. Now that leads me to tip number four, being able to control these casts from the Google Home app. To control other cast devices from your phone, on Android, it's easy to do right from the notification panel. Here I can see the cast that is playing. I can either play and pause it or mute it, and then I can even stop it right here on Android. But if you don't have an Android phone, you won't have those controls. I then need to just go into the Google Home application, and right here on the main screen, you will see that cast that is happening. Here I can easily stop and play it, or I can open up that cast, and I can actually change the volume. So there I can turn down the volume, play or pause and skip through the song, and then I can stop the cast right there at the bottom. Now, if you don't see that option, you just need to head on over to the devices tab in the top right of the application, and then go through and find that device that you are playing music on. So here, Family Room is playing Kids Bop. I can open that up and then uh, play and pause and change the volume all right from there. And there I can select Stop Casting, or I can say, Hey Google, Stop Family Room TV. You can also cast to any of the Google Home devices from a cast supported app. So here in Google Play Music, all I need to do is tap on the cast icon and here I can choose the speaker, group of speakers or the Chromecast that I want to cast it to. Now you cannot pair Chromecast devices and Chromecast audio devices together. That is just not supported, but you can pair multiple Google Cast devices together. So mini Google Homes or Google Home Audios. So here, if I wanna play on the kitchen speaker, I would just select that right there. And then when I play a song, it is actually going to play on that kitchen speaker. And then here I can pause all those controls. If you haven't seen how to pair a group of audio cast devices together, make sure you click the pop-up on screen. Now my fifth and final tip is being able to set preferred devices that you cast to. So say I'm using this Google Home Mini in my office and I always want it to play on the Chromecast Ultra. In the Google Home app, you can specify that. You can also say, I want this device to always play my music on a certain group of devices or I want this device to be able to play certain videos on certain Chromecasts. So let's show you how to do that. To change the preferred cast device that the Google Home will play to, head on over to the Google Home application and click on the Devices tab at the top right. Then go to the device that you want to adjust. So here I'm going to select the Family Room speaker. I'm going to select Settings. And then if you go down, you will see the option that says Default Media Playback. So here you can choose what audio you want the Google Home to play on. So here I have a bunch of different audio devices. Now this will work with different Google Homes, Chromecast Audio, as well as Chromecast devices. So that will be the audio. And then down here at the bottom you have video. So there you can choose where you want videos to play. So maybe I always want my music to be on my Google Home right here. I just select that Google Home, but I want all my videos to play on the Chromecast Ultra. That is how you would choose which you want to do. And then you can do this with every Google Home that you have. A quick final tip that I wanna mention about the Google Home. One of the things that you can do is you can now pair multiple commands together by using an and in between both commands. So if I wanted to cast something and turn off something at the same time, all I would need to do is say, hey Google, play Tech with Brett on Chromecast Ultra and turn off the office lights. Sure, right. playing tech with Brett from YouTube on Chromecast Ultra. Okay, turning six lights off. There you go. And there you have it. Those are my top five tips and tricks with your Google Home and Chromecast. If you have any further questions about any of these, please leave a comment below. And if you wanna know more about what your Google Home and your Chromecast can do together, be sure to click the playlist over here on the side of the screen. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. I talk all about your smartphone to your smart home. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.